Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Carbon by Cornslinger's Bag Company. Let's go ahead and dive in and break this bag down, and we will start with the materials. The slow side, this is that hybrid carpet material. It, it's not it's not the same material as the Viper R. This is the material I call the clone carpet, or some people call it the variant. It's the same material you find on the B3 Coyote, the X-Level Lights Out, Sub-Zero Wintertide, the Swagbags Kaboom, the Southwest Hefe, uh, Buffalo Sauce. I, I know I'm forgetting some. There's a lot of companies that are using this. A lot of bags are using it now. It's very popular. In fact, I, I almost like this more than that Viper R carpet in most conditions. It's a, To me, it plays about a five speed. What I love about it, it's pretty consistent. Through all conditions, it plays pretty consistent. It keeps moving. So even, this, in, even in the sticky, humid conditions, it still moves really well. So five speed on the slow side. Fast side, this is that Pro Sniper Viper Deadhead fast side. Nine speed, crazy fast, great for push and collecting. It flies on the board in all conditions. Looking at a five, nine speed bag. Template wise, this is a medium template, but it, it borderlines on the fuller side. So it feels like a larger template. So I'm going to say medium to full template, uh, medium to large template bag. It's definitely a full bag. You've got quite a bit of fill in here. So there's not a ton of flops. If you don't like a floppy bag, you like a fuller filling bag, this carpet is definitely something for you. The fill in here is a mixed fill. I do think CBC, I don't think CBC uses the same fill across the board on their bags. I think they changed the fill up a little bit, I, I believe. But this is a mixed, I don't know if they have different mixes or not, but this is a mixed fill in here. I love the way the fill plays. I love how how it, around the hole, how it just drips in the hole with this fill. And if you watch my reviews, you know, mixed fills, bead fills are more of my, I prefer over those flat fill bags. This is this is a wonderful fill. Love the way, love the way it plays in this bag. I, I, I don't have any complaints about the fill. Uh, the one thing I will say on this is this fill does give the bag a little bit of bounce, a little bit of movement when it lands. It's not as soft landing as a 100% flat fill bag. So if you don't throw the flattest of bags, the bag will kick a little bit on you. Just a slight tilt, you get a little bit of a, a kick to it. If you get more of a steeper tilt, you're going to get a little harsher kick. However, if you throw a steeper tilted bag, most bags you throw are going to kick on you. You're probably used to playing that. On the positive side of that, the kick also leads to the bag being controllable, cuttable. You can shape shots with it. So what what little bit you what little bit negative you have in the kick, I think you gain more in the shot shaping and the control of this bag. I have no issues with it whatsoever. I just mentioned that. The last thing I'll say is this bag is also ACO stamped for the, the so if you're playing in the new season, season 19, you're now required to have an ACO stamp bag. If you didn't know that, you know it now. If you're if you've been throwing your your ACL stamp bags, you now need to get an ACO stamp bag. Check out this these carpets. I think you're gonna love them, especially if you if you like this hybrid carpet. You definitely want to check these out. So it leads me to playability of this bag on this carbon. And, and and the beauty of this bag is the versatility, right? People love this material so much because you can do so much with it. So if you like to just run bags in the hole and go hole for hole, you can do that here. You can play that. The bag is very hole friendly. It drips in the hole. I mean, I was really impressed with how well the bag played around the hole. One of the knocks I will say, and, and I'm gonna nitpick a little bit, is the forgiveness around the hole. So when you get a fuller bag like this, I talk about time to time, you know, that landing zone and, and, and the larger floppier bags tend to be tend to be more forgiving because you know if you're a little off left or right, they just get the corner to grab to come around. Because it's a fuller bag, you don't get that dip of that corner. That corner is not dipping. So if you just get the corner to go by, it will skip over the hole. If you a little more of the corner, then you can get that dip. Once you get this bag, because there's enough folds here, if you get it just to grab, it'll grab, it pulls the bag back in. Now the thing is, because the bag is fuller and not as floppy, when I when I throw it, I had more controls. I didn't really feel like I was losing the bags a little bit left or right more as, as I would with a little bit floppier bag. So I didn't feel like that, that that forgiveness was a big issue. I don't, I don't feel like I missed many bags because I didn't have a floppier bag. I was okay with it. In fact, the way the bag feel, the feel, the way the bag played around the hole, I, I had no issues with it whatsoever. And I said, if you just get that corner just to catch, it, it'll, it'll drip in the hole. And if a bag was left hanging, I didn't really have a problem collecting it because the fullness of the bag... Just throwing a bag right in the middle and just coming in would just would take it in. If I had to come across and throw a cut, this material's very controllable. I could clip it, cut it, and take it in. I mean, I had no issues with bags hanging. As long as I had another bag left, I could collect it pretty easily. So it's definitely a collectible bag, you know, even if you throw blockers, right? And that's the other thing this, you know, it, maybe you want to play a dirty style game. You can control this material down. You can throw blockers. You can put blockers on the board where you want. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a fuller feeling bag. It, it looks like a bigger bag. So when you throw a blocker, it just takes up a ton of space. Really easy to block the hole. Makes it tough for your opponent. And so if you get an opponent who's not used to pushing through, this is an, kind of an intimidating bag in the sense it's there, it's sticking up. It'll cause them to kick off if they don't hit it right. So then you're going to force them to make a mistake. And you can get really aggressive with these blockers and put them where you want more further on their side because. The fullness of the bag is you just touch the corner. You just catch a corner, it's going to drip in. They're not going to accordion it up like floppier bags do. So it doesn't take much to to collect this bag. It's really easy to collect. In fact, it for me, it's a type of bag where the game I'd play with this, I play more you know, more of a hybrid style game and where I may I may throw my first two bags in, throw a third bag blocker up there, and then collect it, you know, boom. Or I'll throw my first bag up, blocker, 
push her in place, push her in place, flip her slick side and forth back, take it in, or I'll throw a blocker up there. And then, you know, because of the control you have, I'll throw a cut, cut, and then forth back, take it in and put it there. You know, you can do so many different styles, uh, uh, so many different play styles with this bag. You, you know, you can go full dirty all the time with blockers and congestion and clogging up the, the board, causing chaos. And then it's fast enough on the fast side, you can collect multiple bags and take them in. You, you can go hole for hole. You can mix it up. You, you can just do so much, which is why this material becomes is becoming so popular because of how versatile it really is. It's great for blind draws because if you know if you throw a carpet, but if you, or you, you get a, a partner who doesn't, they want to run bags and you can do it with this or vice versa. Maybe you like to run bags. They don't. They want to throw it. They want to play a dirty style game. You can pull this out. You can both play your game with it and not have to really make a lot of changes. It's a wonderful compromise bag. It's a bag that really, I think, I think if you haven't, if you don't have a bag in your in your backpack with this hybrid carpet, I, I really think I really really urge you to get a set. I, I, I think it's a bag that most. It's probably the one bag that I would say everybody can throw and everybody can 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 use the bag, utilize the bag, even if you're not a carpet bag thrower. If you just don't like carpet, and you got a mindset I will not throw a carpet. I urge you to try one of these hybrid carpets, whether whether it's this clone carpet, whether it's the Viper or a carpet, whether it's that same carpet that you find on like the the. The NFQ Mosh Pits, the Wolverines, the Birth of Guardians, whatever. Any, one of these hard guard, I think you're going to like the versatility of it. I really think it's it's definitely something you can do. So if you're a fast bag thrower, you're looking to get into carpet bags, check out one of these. The carpet's a great option. If you're a carpet bag thrower and you're looking to get a little faster bag, but you you know you don't like the really fast bags, check out these hybrid carpets. So it's it's just it's a wonderful material because of some because of all the different players that can play with it, all different play styles. Like there's nothing you can't do with it. This is this carbon here it, it, in. It, uh, the beauty of the carbon is, you know, it, it's got enough, it's got enough bounce, enough movement. It's definitely a bag that you can, you can shape shots with. It. I talk about, you can ability to cut shots with it. You can, you can roll it. You can flop it. You don't have, you have to be a great rollback thrower. It's, I think the average, even, even a little below average rollback thrower can roll this bag. I think it's a very easy bag to roll, flop, to cut. You know, you can just do so much with it. And honestly, the, there's not a lot of negatives. I'm going to say at the bag. I mean, the one negative I mentioned is, is the, the, the kick on a little bit of a kick. And then the other thing is maybe because it's a little fuller. Maybe not as forgiving around the hole as a little bit floppier bag would be, but in all honesty, it, it's it's a wonderful bag. I really enjoy throwing it. Uh, I, I definitely recommend checking out if you're looking for an ACO stamp bag to throw this season. You definitely want to check out the carbon, which leaves me in availability. Where do you go to get a set? Cornslingers at the website, cornslingersbagco.com. There'll be a link in the description to click on there. Bags are reasonably priced. They were eighty bucks plus I think nine dollars shipping. It's eighty nine dollars shipped to you. Wonderful price. It's kind of on the lower end of bag prices. A high quality bag, ACO stand for that. You really can't beat that. So definitely check it out. If you've thrown the carbon, I'd love to hear your feedback, whether you like it, what you like, what you don't like. Always love to hear your guys' opinions, as well as what other bag you want me to see me review from CBC. And I, I did the surge not too long ago. So what other bag would you like to see me review? I, I'm really liking the bags they're making. I want to dive a little further into, into trying some of the other bags. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for support and I thank you for watching. 